Did you know? Ruroni Kenshin. In Nobuhiro Watsuki's other franchise, Buso Renkin, one of the main characters, Tokiko Tsumura, is treated by the main protagonist's sister, who wraps her up in bandages, heavily resembling Shishio Makoto. More Buso Renkin trivia, one of the weapons in the series is called Sword Samurai X, which is a reference to Ruroni Kenshin's western title, Samurai X. Watsuki actually liked the western title that he wanted to put it in this new franchise with this reference. When Saito meets up with Kenshin and Misao in Shingetsu Village, he thinks of Megumi as a Kitsune, or fox woman, Kaoru as a Tanuki, or raccoon girl, and Misao as a weasel girl. In Japanese folklore, the Kitsune and Tanuki are thought of as ominous spirits. The Kitsune would take the form of a beautiful woman, who seduces and tricks men. The Tanuki also takes on the form of a woman, but is thought of as much more mischievous than the Kitsune. Misao's weasel girl nickname could be a reference to the Kamaitachi, but it is more than likely that Saito calls her a weasel because of Misao's sneaky nature and childlike posture. More on Kenshin's name. While the name his master gave him literally means sword heart or heart of sword, his original name, Shinta, could have been written with a kanji for big heart. There was a follow-up arc planned to be in line with the manga's ending. The Hokkaido arc would follow anti-hero Saito, Seta Sojiro and a few other characters as they journeyed north. A direct reference to this was made in one of the extra chapters of the Rironi Kenshin manga, where Aoshi tells Kenshin that Saito has headed north to Hokkaido, not knowing what kind of mission he is on, but that he's doing fine as usual. The symbol on Sanosuke's back is a Japanese kanji Aku, which translates into evil. He continues to wear this symbol as a mark of loyalty to his former comrades in the Sekihotai army but also to never forget that they were falsely branded traitors and that no government is free of injustice. Nobuhiro Watsuki's favorite moments in the anime are the introduction of Saito and his battle with Kenshin, and the goodbye scene between Kenshin and Kaoru when he leaves for Kyoto. He thought of those moments as the most memorable scenes in the anime, saying the director got it just right. Can you recognize Yuji Ueda, the voice actor for Sanosuke Sagara, in the following roles, Hiroyasu Ueda from Chobits, Johannes Krauser II from Detroit Metal City, Abarenbo from Digi Charat, Zolof Kimbley from Fullmetal Alchemist, John Havok from Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, Mario and Giulio Renato from Gundam Build Fighters, Akitoki Hojo from Inuyasha, Billy Katagiri from Gundam 00, and finally Takeshi or Brock from Pokemon. There we go, that's it for this episode of Did You Know, Rironi Kenshin. I'd like to thank all of you who watch and support this channel, the website, our Facebook page and the Rurokin shop. Like and share this video and subscribe to this channel, it really helps us out a lot. And it like literally only takes a couple of seconds. Thank you for watching and have a great day.